It was a joyful moment for the family of Eziane, Sir Dr. Joseph Adokoye, as their father joined the class of octogenarians. The 80th birthday celebration brought together friends, family and associates to celebrate a man many described as an epitome of truth and hard work. CTV's Tony Abba has the report. For the friends, family and associates of Sir Dr. Josephat Okoye, it was time to celebrate a man who many describe as a man who believes and works for the truth as he clocks 80 years of God's faithfulness. The celebration began with a holy mass, officiated by the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, Most Reverend Ignatius Kegama. Reverend Father Joseph Ilora, who gave the homily, described the celebrant as an inspiration to both the rich and the poor. He added that Sao Koye has been generous to different people in the course of his life and encouraged him to continue to replicate generosity. After the homily, the Eucharistic celebration and offertory was observed. The obviously elated celebrant, in company of friends and family, came to the altar in thanksgiving to God. The celebrant took time to appreciate God, the Cardinal, the Archbishop and all who came to celebrate with him both at home and in Abuja. After the Mass, the reception followed. The celebrant made a majestic entry into the beautifully decorated venue of the reception to set the ball rolling. The chairman of the occasion, Chief Paul Mortulum, in his welcome remarks, described the celebrant as a man of truth. You cannot bribe someone to testify against the truth. It's not the man you can bribe. It's the straightforward man. His humility and candor has endeared him to many people. There were prayer for the colonel and for many more years for the celebrant. High point of the celebration was the cutting of the cake by the octogenarian. Jesus. Some of the guests at the event spoke to CTV News. The only thing I need from God for him is to, as he has just already said in the church, he wants to be 80, 85, 90, 95 and so, with good health. He doesn't want anybody to be assisting him or suffering other people. So that's my wish to him. I thank God for what I am today, but I believe the secrets is truth in life. Truth. If you go with truth to me, you will survive. And you tell yourself the truth. Begin with yourself. Because most people have reacted that work with me who are not telling truth. They have not made any progress. Fortunately, I we schooled together, though he was my senior in CKC. That CKC, Christ the King College on Asia ably qualified, very brilliant. In terms of everything, he was, a, he was a senior prefect. He performed creditably well and went outside and did wonderfully well in the university. And externally outside again, he performed creditably, creditably well. So that is why we say, when you see such a person, you emulate him. I would say to Joseph to continue to thank his God all his life, because uh, this is a special gift. 
The Bible says the life stops at 70. But when you have excess, you thank God. So Joseph, who is now celebrating his doctorate, the Iranian, should continue to thank God for this special blessing. For CTV News, Tony Abba reporting.